Okay, so guys, before this video starts, I would like to thank every one of you for subscribing to, to my channel and watching this video and liking it. I have hit 68 likes on this video, 15,000 views on it, and 87 subscribers. It would mean a lot if you could subscribe to me and help me get to 100 subscribers. And if I do, I'll do a live stream. So, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It would be awesome if you could hit that like button. And I'll see you on the video. To another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install and use Ice Cream Screen Recorder. This is a screen recorder that anybody can use and it's basically a good screen recorder for beginners and I'll show you how to install it right now. So what you need to do is go onto your default browser or just your browser, whatever browser you want to use search up icecreamapps.com I will put this link in the description for anybody who wants to use this and click enter so it should take you to a page like this with the, all these uh, with all these files they've got to give you like all of the recorders and converters and all that so what you need to do first is click on the screen recorder. Then there is a free download and a pro upgrade to pro download. The there isn't much difference between them. The most important and main difference between them is the free download can only record 10 minutes and the pro download can record as much as you want to. Uh so I would recommend using the free download not like not just because it's free but because you can um stop the video whenever you want and then you can like if you're gonna make a cut stop the video like stop the entire video and then make a new one so then you can put the um, videos together on an editor and then it'll look like you've just used normal cuts so first thing you want to do is click free download when you're on this site and it should come up to this page and it should say download download in progress and then after a little bit it should down, start downloading down here and there it is and I'll be back when this finishes downloading okay guys it's finished downloading and so what you want to do is either click on it from your bar down here or go into your files click downloads and then go down to what you've downloaded which in my case would be number three so what you need to do is double click it or click on it from down here once and then it should bring you to the installation page click yes after it comes to this and it should take you to all this and then it should take you to select the language so you can select any language you want I would use, I'm using English because that's my language, then when you're done select OK. Then you need to select I accept the agreement and then click next. And then just keep all these uh, tick just because then the screen recorder will end up on your desktop. Why have I got two of these? I'm going to put these in the bin, don't know why. And then, so what you need to do is you just click next, then click install. Uh, so what you need to do is wait for it to install and yeah, I'll be back when it's about to be finished. Okay guys, so it's just installing the codex now. It's almost done. And so it should come up with a shortcut in your desktop if you kept all the boxes ticked before. And so, it should bring you to this page over here in the web where it says thank you and then all this stuff but the this isn't important right now um so what you need to do is you just go into finish and then it should open right as you click finish then this is what it should look like with the capture video screenshot and then all the videos and screenshots you've made so what you need to do if you want to make a video is go into custom area then you select the area you want to record if you've selected custom. 
I usually do this, but in this case, I'll just do this. Then click record. And then it should show you all of the shortcuts. Control Shift H is to control toolbar. Control Shift D is to is to show the drawing panel and then all the rest. You can pause and read if you want to. You can click don't show this message again. <clears throat> I usually keep it on because so it's sometimes I forget the shortcuts. I don't know why these are the same though. Then just click OK. Then it should give you a countdown to what, so then you can do whatever you want. Then it should start recording here. It should do, it should add the, make the video start here and then it should start recording. So the shortcut to stop this is Control Shift S or you can just click down here and then click stop. And so it should bring you up to file name. First, go down to, well, you just click on the file name and then name it whatever you want. And then it should go to here. And then that is the video. So because this is a web M file, you need to change the file by converting it into an MP4 because YouTube needs MP4 files. Well, YouTube can't use WebM or but MP4 is the best file for it. So what? So my recommended converter, video converter, would be a PowerSoft. Um. So here's I'll put the link in the description. And yeah, so what you need to type in is a powersoft.com, then click enter, then click on, and then go to online solution, then click on video converter. It should take you to this, then you click select files to start, then you click, uh, well, I'll just move this out of the way, click open a powersoft online launcher. <coughs> And it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Then click on the file you want to um, convert and then click open. And so it's got this on there with the video you want to convert. And then you can change the format of what you want, what you want to convert it to. And then just click convert. And then click desktop. That's what I usually do because then I can just get it to my desktop and it's an easy usage and just click OK <clears throat> and it should start converting and then it should end up like this and convert in a few um, in like a few seconds and yeah so I don't really need this to convert so I'll just leave it converting right now and so guys I think I might end the video off here uh, maybe it would be awesome if you could smash that like button. It really means a lot to me. And smash the subscribe button. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. And and it's all from one video. I, I, I have like said that at the start of the video. And so this has finished. Um, it, it has finished converting. And here's the video. It should have all your sound so if you've changed you the want. settings and all that. But yeah, I'll end the video off here, off here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope this helped, and yeah, have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.